Hey there, it's Kelly Marie and welcome. Today's quick bites are these light and crispy waffles. That's right guys, a sandwich maker isn't only for breads and is perfect for when you feel like having pancakes but you want that crunch. So hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's jump in. So the ingredients that you'll need are a pinch of salt, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 70 grams of plain flour, 80 ml of plant milk, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 teaspoons of baking powder and 3 teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. So first things first, I'm just going to grab my bowl, add my flour, so I'm just going to add my little salt um, and my sugar, so I'm adding all the dry ingredients together. Next I'm adding my vanilla extract and my apple cider vinegar to the milk. So this will curdle and don't worry about that, that is a part of the process and it will kind of make things a bit crunchy on the outside so it should work fine. So we're just going to give that a quick stir and then we're going to start adding that into our dry ingredients. Afterwards just adding the baking powder and giving a quick stir. And then I'm going to whisk that all together to make sure that there is no lumps inside the flour. Now I'm just greasing my sandwich maker and I'm just using a tiny bit of plant butter for that. Now I'm just spooning out the little mixture into the base and don't worry about that. When you close it, it should rise slightly so it'll cook on both ends. I like to use a spoon to spoon this out just because it's easy, you have more control and you don't have it sinking into the cracks when you're pouring it in from straight from the bowl. So these batches are done. So these are my original plain batches and what I ended up doing is adding a bit of grains to the second one. I usually use these grains to make kind of porridge but it's really handy, you can just put whatever you want inside of it. If you want to use some semolina flour or semolina flour sorry and just add that in then that's perfectly fine as well. And I just waited for about 3-4 to four minutes to ensure that was cooked on both sides and yeah afterwards they were very light and crispy. And that's the end result. Next up I just sprinkled a tiny bit of agave um, nectar and that was the end. It was really nice I didn't have too much of it just because there's already sugar inside of it and it was just nice tiny bit of crunch and a bit of fluffiness on the inside. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys did enjoy this recipe and that you do end up using it. And um, Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye!